What's up, y'all? This is Daniel with Pride of the Southland Kennels. Finally got our raised kennels done and our whelping house uh, almost complete. It's not quite complete on the inside yet, but it's uh, it's at a point where I felt comfortable sharing it with y'all. So let's let's take a look inside and see what we got in here. All right, this is what the inside looks like. Sorry, it's a little bit small. Um, this previously was a chicken coop. A little bit dirty in there, but got some cleaning up to do. Not sure exactly what direction we're gonna go on the inside as far as what kind of finish that we're gonna put down. But there's the first one. Let me go over here to the second one. And uh, same deal over here. Four foot by four foot. They have access to the outside, which is what I really wanted to show y'all. So let's go out there and check that out. Here's another shot of the outside. And each one of those whelping boxes goes out here to a raised kennel run. Um, the entire deck here is eight foot by eight foot, split in half. So they're four by eight kennel runs. We wrapped it on the perimeter with welded wire. Tried to use some materials that I had um, already left over from other projects and things like that. And then in the center, I use hog panels, excuse me, cattle panels. And uh, like I said, I tried to use what I had. So we kind of overlapped them to make the holes a little bit smaller. And if I need to, I can go back and, and put some welded wire in there just to make sure that uh, neither of the dogs, if there's more than one in here, um, or there's one in each, each kennel here, we can prevent anything from happening. So, uh, got the latches so I can put locks on them, those latches. I'm gonna try them out. Some of the other latches that I've used in the past, kind of uh, over time when the wood expands and contracts, makes it a little bit um, harder to latch. You gotta adjust it from time to time, so we're gonna try them. So I'll post some pictures at the end of this with some of the process and of the build. Uh, usually when I'm building stuff, I just kinda get in the groove and I forget to stop and take pictures. So basically, eight foot by eight foot platform, like I said, split in half. Um, four by fours in the ground over here. We'll stain those. I'm gonna let them sit a little bit longer so that the stain will take a little better. And we basically just attached it to the chicken coop here. And I'll put pictures of how I attached it. I didn't put four by fours on this end of the deck, but I think I went um, a little above and beyond to make sure that this side of it was secure and, uh, and holds. And we'll just utilize the weight of this side of it within post right there. So take a step back here kind of get y'all a glimpse of what it looks like in total or in whole and uh, that's what we got uh, this this build kind of got put on the back burner for a while but maybe we we might have some pups on the way um, we did breed our American Bulldog kneeling with uh, our American Bulldog, one of our American Bulldog females, Monroe, her sister had a had a prolapse, so we wasn't able to breed her. Then her sister came in the heat shortly after, and uh, we bred them. So, so let me know what y'all think. Um, did want to make a couple of comments. A lot of people out there are letting. Some of these people slide on their setups. If they got a dog on a video and it'll run on a treadmill for a while or it'll hang from a spring pole, they kind of overlook the conditions that those dogs live in. I know some of the people that I watch and follow, this, this topic's been brought up. Um, so don't let them guys skip on their, on their setup. Step your game up. If you got that... If you got that many dogs and you really truly love your dogs, this is one of the easiest parts of the process is your setup. I mean, that's just uh, 
hard work on your end and dedication get out there with a saw and a hammer and a, a screwdriver and and build something so i did want to add in the future i think this is the route that i'll go um i really like the way this looks and turned out um anybody that's followed my channel a little bit knows that i bought some retriever kennel kennels from uh tractor supply and those are good kennels um, but where i live it's kind of hilly kind of hard to find an area that's really level to set those so i built a raised deck uh, not only for that reason but other reasons and i believe if you just build them all in one you build the raised deck and you build the kennel with it it'll be a little bit cheaper now if i if i in the future if i do decide to run with this route i don't think i would use the welded wire um nothing wrong with it it's pretty sturdy but i believe i'd go with a panel similar to the one i got in the center of that just one with smaller holes so anyways uh let me know what y'all think anybody interested in some bulldog puppies stay tuned i'll keep you updated with that i think one of the next videos i'll do is i'll do a a complete uh yard tour showing my whole entire setup because this is actually sitting in my second dog yard and i haven't really done a good video on that since i've got it all cleaned up and uh maybe that'll be my next video y'all just let me know what y'all think thank you